What's going on everybody? Today we're going to be doing a walkthrough of the beautiful Carnival Freedom. We just got off the ship. Absolutely loved it. So let's dive in. So on Promenade Deck 5, this is going to be your main hub for nightlife. Everything is on this floor almost. Starting off with the fun ships. So if you are looking to get your duty free cigarettes, liquor, or just souvenirs that are Carnival branded, you can do so in these fun shops. They also have some other ones that we'll dive into afterwards. Next to the fun shops, you have Skybox Sports Bar. We were here for NFL season, so we were lucky enough to catch Monday night and Thursday night football here. It is vibrant in this bar. A lot of people talking, a lot of great conversations to be had. They also have free warm hot pretzels and some really cool cocktails that you can only get there. Making our way next to these fun shops, you have Cherry on Top, which is your pay by the ounce candy store on Carnival. Some great place to take your kids, or if you have a sweet tooth, just get your fill. And these fun shops I was really surprised about here, you have upcycled Louis Vuitton bags and as well as Gucci. So some designer bags that were about $1,500 a bag, but considering normal price, if you were to buy those new, it would be a lot more expensive. So a decent value there. And then here, walking through the casino, you have your standard casino, a lot of slots, very heavy on the slots in this casino. They also have table games such as blackjack, poker, and craps great place to hang out they have live entertainment at night just hanging out at that little stage area over there and then this bar this casino bar is fantastic they have some great cocktails that you can only get in the casino bar so i highly recommend checking that out hopefully you don't donate too much money to this casino while you're on board to the right here we have a coffee shop with some pastries this isn't included in your cruise fare but it has some great quality food and drink so worth looking into and next to that is one of my personal favorites on board is the red frog pub this place has some great decor they have palm trees spread all over their cocktails are really cool i haven't seen them at any other bar on any other carnival ship this is the first cruise that i've been on with a red frog pub and the entertainment they have is a live entertainment, so they have a singer and a band playing typically. And the people are always just so friendly, willing to have great conversations. And then they have some table games in the back. So honestly, this is one of my favorite bars on board. We spent some time here, but there's always more opportunity to hang out here. And walking out of the Red Frog Pub making our way down the ship there's another bar but this bar was never open during our sailing so not really sure what it was and here we have the warehouse which is our little game room here you can actually play games for tickets and redeem them for prizes they actually have some really good prizes on the boat i know they have ipads they had iphones so you're not just playing for a little stuffed animal you can actually get some really high quality stuff in here and they also have other games that you can just hang out. They have a couple VR rides like you can see right there. So definitely worth checking it out if you have a sea day and you need to kill some time. We spent a decent amount of time in here during our speed day. Uh, all the games do average like one to three dollars. So it's not exactly the cheapest way to spend a day, but it is a fun way. And walking out of here right next to the arcade is the nightclub so the 70s nightclub is one awesome place to spend your days it was absolutely crazy when we were on board every night a lot of people dancing a lot of shots being taken great time and across from that is the alchemy bar i have to tell you the alchemy bar on this ship has some of the best staff that i've ever seen everyone was so in tune we gave them our flavor profiles and they were giving us some great tips and tricks on what drinks we should have and they even made some custom cocktails for us and if you're looking for something a little bit more lively you have the piano bar so the piano bar is actually an incredible place the player was very in tune with what the people wanted he was taking requests he was making it a very individualized show so stopped in there for a little bit during our vacation but definitely wish we spent more time in the piano bar and then our favorite part of any cruise is the punch liner. The punch liner is absolutely incredible. The line to get in here is long and there isn't that much seating, even though it is a big venue. So if you want to see a comedy show, try to get there about 30 minutes early to guarantee yourself a seat pro tip there. Okay, so we're going to go one floor below to deck four, the Atlantic deck. Here you have the posh dining restaurant, which is your seated dining times, either your late seating 
or early seating for dinner. This is included with your cruise fare and it has some great entrees as well as appetizers. Honestly, the food has been pretty good to us on the Freedom, so I definitely recommend doing your seated time dining. And we're walking through, you have the Habana bar, not Havana. However, it is still decor like it is a Cuban bar. It doesn't have the tropical cocktails like the Havana bar does on the newer ships, but it's where you can still go to listen to karaoke or do karaoke yourself and even have a cocktail. They do have a few other trivia games here too. Heading about here, we have some hidden bathrooms, which will become in very handy if you're using the main dining room as well as Club O2 for the teens. And making our way to the Chic restaurant. So this is the Your Time Dining restaurant. This restaurant is also two floors and it looks very similar to the posh dining room. We had any time dining while we were on the Freedom, and I have to say the wait staff was fantastic. We did have new wait staff pretty much every time we were in the dining room, but they were so attentive and really took great care of us. All right, and getting out of the Chic restaurant, we are walking towards the atrium. So here you could see decks three, four, and five are very open. They have the typical carnival glass elevators. And next to that, we have the Pixels studio so here you can buy photos of yourself and your loved ones that have been taken at any of the photo opportunities and making our way all the way to the theater so this theater is awesome it has pretty much no bad seats in the house there aren't that many pillars blocking seats the chairs are extremely comfortable i highly recommend getting here early if you want to do your shows to get a good seat on deck three Okay, going down to the lobby on deck three, as soon as you come out of the elevators to the left, you have guest services. So here they will handle all your complaints. Hopefully you don't have any because you're on vacation, but if you do so, they address them here. And across from that is a little atrium. This is where they have trivia and hang out. And across from that is the lobby bar. This bar has some fantastic cocktails. Highly recommend checking them out. And from there, there is the chic restaurant, which we saw on deck four. And going across, you have Adventures. So here is where you can come to book your excursions in person if you decide not to do so through the mobile app. And then you have a computer right across from there. So if you want to get any work done or check your emails, you can do so there. What? That's it for Deck 3? Yeah. Other than the Chic Restaurant and then the other level of the theater, that's pretty much it. It's not a giant ship. Anyway, up here, we are on Deck 9. Here is the F pool area. Back here you have a bar that we're pointing to right there, which has some incredible staff. If you're traveling within the next three months, our man Eka is at this bar. I highly recommend, best guy ever. And then across from that is the Pizza Pirate. So this pizza is open till 4 a.m. The line is crazy after 1 a.m. when the club starts dying down, so worth noting. Here we are in the buffet. So this is the Lido Buffet. This has a really good wide variety of food. It also has your free coffee, juices, waters to fill your needs. Walking down, we have the deli. So the deli has changed its menu recently, but it still has some great sandwiches. Definitely, if you're hungry and in a pinch, recommend going to the deli. And down here, we have the Mongolian walk. The line for this thing every day was so long, so I didn't get to experience it, but everyone who's had it said it was worth the wait. And across from that is Blue Iguana Cantina. So they make burritos and tacos daily, and they are also open for breakfast. So they do breakfast burritos. And across from that, they have a salsa bar to top your burritos and tacos with. Across from that is another Blue Iguana favorite, which is the Blue Iguana Tequila Bar that specializes in tequila cocktails. Makes some great stuff, some good vibes going on daytime. And of course, how could we not be on a carnival ship without Guy's Burgers? They have some of the best burgers ever. The toppings bar is fantastic as well. They do have bacon again. And then with that, there is the Red Frog Rum Bar. So here, a bar that specializes in rum cocktails. Great for vacations and always a very vibrant place to check out on board. And here is the lobby that's pointing down. So you can see all the floors through the ship and the glass elevators that Carnival is known for.
All right, and going one floor up, we have deck 10. So you get a beautiful view of the aft of the ship as well as a good view of the aft pool. So there is the bar there and you do get some funny sights when you're people watching. And you can see the beautiful carnival tail that is kind of missing, but we're not gonna talk about that because you know, that's some bad juju. Anyway, walking forward through deck 10, this is the smokers area. So um, on the carnival freedom, there is a very limited amount of smoking sections for those who do smoke. It's pretty much limited to the casino and deck 10 on the outside, but they do have these really comfy chairs. So if you are a smoker, it is a decent area for you. And walking forward, there's not too much on deck 10, but you do get this awesome view of the main pool area. So you can get a view of what's going on at the tequila bar and the rum bar, as well as any contests. They do have some ice carving contests. So if you want a great view of up top, go to deck 10, especially if you want to do the sail away. And you can also see the carnival waterworks. So there's a slide area. They also have a little bucket for the kids to play in. So it's a decent area. All right, and then going up to spa deck 11, you are greeted with, who would have guessed it, the spa. But also within the spa, you have the gym. So the gym has a lot of cardio equipment. It is facing the front of the ship. So if you do like to do treadmills or ellipticals or whatever have you, you have a great view of the ocean while you're working out. So honestly, you really can't beat the view. It is worth noting that they do have free weights in the back that you can lift. And then in the spa area, you also have massage parlors and facial areas, but that is in a different area. So unfortunately I didn't get to that. And here we have the sports deck. On the spa deck, you also have the sports deck, which has volleyball courts, basketball courts, a jogging track, and a not so challenging mini golf course. So if you are fit and you wanna be active on board, this is the deck for you. We are still going, I hope you guys are with me. We are on deck 12 on the sun deck. So this deck is great for the adults because it is the Serenity area. This is the adults only area for Carnival Cruise Lines. They do a great job of making sure all the chairs are comfy. Even the loungers have an extra layer of padding on them. And Carnival has been so nice to add a bar into this area, which also has water that's infused with lemon. So it's a nice relaxing area. And pro tip, because not too many people found these, there are loungers here. You don't have to rent these. You just have to be first come, first serve kind of situation. So it has a great view of the ocean. If you can manage to scheme one of them, I highly recommend spending the whole day there. It's super relaxing. Here, there's also no music piped into the area. So it's very calm and serene. Some people do bring speakers, um, but it is frowned upon. And coming back from where we just walked into, it is more seating area on the Serenity deck. It also is worth noting that there is an additional floor of Serenity on top of this one, which you could see some people going up the steps right there too, which is also the slide entrance. So maybe not so serene there because a lot of kids do to go on the slide. And that's the freedom. Please subscribe if you found this video helpful. We're giving away a free cruise to one of our viewers once we reach a thousand subscribers. And we're almost there. So hit that button. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.